to international motorsport and the high-powered world of Formula One. McLaren have taken the wraps off their new, sophisticated electronics package for 1993, just in time to hear it was all outlawed for 94. None of which dampened the enthusiasm of Lotus defector Mika Hakkinen. How, how does the, uh, the office feel like, comparing to the ones that you've been working before? It's, it's very complicated, uh, but it's very organized, and... Uh, I don't see any problems. I mean, the team has been giving very good information how everything works, and it's incredible, and I'm happy with all the instruments. Yeah. How about the step from uh, last year's Lotus to, to a new, a brand new McLaren car and all that super high technology that comes with it? Are you afraid of that at all before you go to the car and start dri driving with it? I'm definitely I'm not afraid of that. Uh, Seems to be for me quite simple to to come to McLaren from 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 uh, Team Lotus, uh, but overall the whole team is so organized. It's incredible. Everybody knows what they're doing, and uh, to Ron Dennis, it's it's how can I say it? Well organized. He knows what he's doing, and he want to win. This may be the car that Ayrton Senna drives in the 1993 World Championship. He is in England and will test it soon and will then decide whether to drive or not. On that choice depends the future of Mika Hakkinen, who may find that he's just signed the most lucrative test contract in motor racing. It will not affect the future of Michael Andretti, though, who leaves IndyCar to follow in his father's footsteps and hopefully to put another Andretti name on the World Championship Roll of Honor. Ability is not an issue here. For 93 at least, the burning question is whether McLaren technology this season can match Williams, Benetton and Sauber Gizmos for efficiency and reliability. Despite a disappointing first outing in the rain, Michael certainly seems to think so. A lot of great people here. You know, they made me feel at home right away and uh, I really am looking forward to uh, competing with them. was warm and Michael Andretti got a much better chance to try the car. He's driven a McLaren before almost two years ago in Portugal and ever since then this contract has been pretty much inevitable. But the car is a surprise, partly because it's been such a long time coming. All last season McLaren lagged behind Williams. No active suspension, traction control and automatic gearbox late starters. No sign of the high nose aerodynamics which Harvey Hosselthwaite made mandatory two years ago even though we saw them on Formula 3000 cars midway through 92. Now though, it's all changed and in comes the new look MP48 complete with a raised nose profile although with horizontal front wings rather than the distinct anhedral pioneered on the Tyrrell and copied to a lesser extent by other makers and seen in Formula 3 last year. Also incorporated is the highly sophisticated TAG electronics package in which just one black box controls the whole car. Engine, gearbox, active suspension and traction control. And its cleverness doesn't end there. This unit apparently allows the automatic gearbox to learn new circuits, to memorize them and it also allows the engineers in the pit lane to trim the car's suspension during a race. It's almost certainly more advanced than the customer engines McLaren are getting from Ford this season and which are down spec compared to the frontline equipment which will be used by Banaton. Whether that puts them at a disadvantage is yet unclear. Perhaps the electronics are good enough to level out the balance, but not even the drivers know that yet. 
and software development problems have meant that although Michael Andretti knows the car better this afternoon than he did this morning, he still hasn't been able to push it to his or its limit. So what can you tell us after a terrible day like today? It's pretty much to be expected, you know, when you have a car that has so many different intricate type systems uh, electronically, you know, you expect to have some uh, little gremlins flying around in there. So, uh, uh, you know, we're getting worked out. Uh, we've already made some gain, and uh, uh, I'm sure by the end of this test we'll have them all out of here. Were you able to get any impression from the small amount of running you've done whether the car was different from the uh, previous car? No, no. It looks different. <laughs> That's about all I can tell you right now. It's, uh, other than that, uh, you know, when, you're, when it's wet like this and having the problems we're having, I didn't get going at all, so uh, that's another problem.